quick walk around of the newest addition to the fleet. Um, what I believe to be a 1945. Uh, still got some verifying to do with the serial number, but uh, nonetheless, it is a Letourneau D4 Turnipole designed for the military during World War II to be airdropped. Uh, as you can see, I'm a little late, being that uh, the engine and trans have been pulled out. But uh, I'll throw a few pictures in here of what it looked like a couple weeks ago. Found this up north. Don't know how it ever got there, but uh, it's remained pretty complete through the years. It's got both the headlights yet. Had all original rubber. I've since replaced that far side to get it up and moving a little easier. But this connected tread Firestone would be the original style, along with the military tires in the back. It's also got this light that faces the bowl, which you can tell is definitely factory from this steel tube that runs down for the wire. Got the manufacturer's plate here stating it's the 221st one made. They started with serial number 2000 in 1942 and tested the machine for two years at a fort in Virginia and then turned uh, over to producing military units in 44, uh, starting with serial number 2011 and ended up with a total production of 636 machines. It's a Model Q carry-all scraper. All cable operated. And uh, these springs are back here to pull the eject back. And I mentioned that uh, they're designed to be dropped uh, from the sky, more specifically from gliders. And that's what these hooks on the back are for, the loops. Along with uh, one up here. machine still has quite a bit of OD green showing through on it, back here on the apron, as well as uh, down here. It's got a Model P Laterno control unit, triple drum, and that operates both functions of the pan, along with the dozer blade up front. blade has a neat little tilt feature. And that control unit is powered by this shaft that runs clear through the case and then couples up here where the timing cover has a shaft coming out. It's a four-cylinder flathead continental engine in here. Uh, connected to a Borg Warner transmission. And the transmission had six studs that came out the back. And was able to access the nuts through this cover here. As well as here. So the next step will be getting that engine on a stand and tearing it down. Uh, it was stuck, or is stuck, but uh, has oil in all the right places, so don't anticipate too much of a fight. 